50 years ago today, at 9.32 a.m., three men lifted off just across this river from pad 39A to begin one of the greatest travel adventures in history. That's what this video is about, so let's get started. Over the years, there have been many famous and fantastic journeys taken around the world. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed further than thought humanly possible to discover the New World. In 1909, Robert Perry and Frederick Cook both laid claim to having reached the North Pole. Other men have traveled around the world by plane, balloon, boat, and by foot. Yet on July 16, 1969, it was three men who made history when they lifted off from the surface of the Earth traveling beyond Earth's atmosphere to achieve something no explorer nor traveler had done before. This eventful day began years earlier with the Mercury Project and was encouraged by President Kennedy on May 25, 1961, when he appealed to a joint session of Congress by saying, I believe this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. The Apollo program that ensued would test not only mankind's technological and engineering skills, but also human endurance and resilience in the face of the unknown, all while reaching success that no one else had achieved. The culmination of this hard work began to be visualized on the morning of July 16th. Apollo 11, manned by Commander Neil Armstrong, Command Module Pilot Michael Collins, and Lunar Pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin lifted off aboard a Saturn V rocket with the call sign Columbia from pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. After a successful launch, the next success was achieved with the separation of the crew module and the lunar landing module on July 20th. A few hours later, the lunar lander touched down in the Sea of Tranquility at 3.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with the now famous phrase being uttered, the eagle has landed. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. After donning the portable life support and oxygen systems, Neil Armstrong prepared to land at the lunar module. The camera in the module provided television coverage as Armstrong's foot comes in contact with the moon's surface, and he speaks the first words from the surface of the moon, which were, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. During their time on the moon, Armstrong and Aldrin collected samples of moon rocks, dust, and they placed a plaque which read, Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969. We come in peace for all mankind. Following this, they erected a flag and had a conversation with President Nixon back on Earth. While these historic events were unfolding on the lunar surface, circling the moon for 21 hours was Michael Collins in the command module. He was the first man to travel to the backside of the moon alone. During his time cut off from communication with Earth, he wrote, I am alone now, truly alone, and absolutely isolated from any known life. I am it. Collins was also faced with the possibility that Armstrong and Aldrin would not be able to lift off from the moon's surface, leaving him as potentially the lone survivor of this historic mission. Thankfully for all involved, the Eagle was able to launch itself from the moon's surface and rendezvoused with Columbia for the return trip to Earth. On the 24th of July, at 11.50 p.m., the command module splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, thus ending the first moon landing and concluding 
Apollo Mission 11. Thank you for watching this travel adventures video about Apollo 11. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe so we'll know to make more videos like this. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram at Travel Adventures with Amy and follow the photographer Bear at The Combustion Guys, both on YouTube and on Instagram. The links below for more information about Apollo 11. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.